Welcome to Altium Designer Integrated Libraries. In this module, we will recreate the WCT Integrated Library project. As we saw in the Introduction to Libraries module, an integrated library is portable and self-contained, having at least both the schematic symbols and their associated footprints in a single file. The integrated library components can have additional elements, such as spice simulation and signal integrity models. In this basic course, we will cover the creation of an integrated library with the minimum required schematic and PCB footprint elements. In Altium, to start a new integrated library, click File, New, Project, and then pick the Integrated Library option, and fill out the name section, as well as navigate to the desired location for this project. We won't be keeping the Create Project Folder checkbox checked, as the folder was already created for this module, with both the schematic and PCB footprint library files pre-populated. As an integrated library requires both a schematic symbol and a PCB footprint, we will add both. We will use versions of the schematic and PCB library files from the existing WCT integrated library to illustrate the process of creating an integrated library. To add an existing file to the project, right-click on the project file and select Add Existing to Project. Navigating to the local copies of both the WC Topping Schematic Library and PCB Library files, we select both and click OK. Now, with these added files, we can compile the integrated library project. This will do two things. It will perform some basic checking and create the integrated library file. The compile compares the symbols and footprints to ensure that there are no mismatches. Right-clicking on the project file, we select Compile Integrated Library. Now, as you can see, there were errors. And yes, we did expect them. Because of the errors, the message window pops up. Let's look at these typical errors encountered with integrated library creation. The first error is a pin mismatch type. This indicates that there is a difference between the symbol pin naming and the linked footprints pad naming. Double-clicking on the error opens up the schematic symbol associated with the error. As you can see, checking the symbol pin, we note that there is a pin 1 and pin 3, whereas when we check the footprint, it has pad 1 and 2. Fixing the numbering for the symbol will fix this error. Now the remaining errors are missing footprints. These can be caused by one of two ways. Typically, either the wrong footprint was called out in the schematic symbol, or the tool cannot find the footprint because it is not in the linked PCB file. Double-clicking on the missing footprint error, we find in this case that there were extra footprints that we did not bring into the current PCB library file. We could either add them to this file or remove their reference from the schematic symbols. We will remove them and then recompile. Now the compile is clean, and we can navigate to the Integrated Libraries output folder to see the generated intlib file. This is the file that we would use for either installing or adding to a project's local library.